morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's try that one more time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's stand and say.
both eyes, and I don't have to wear glasses for distance. Amen. That's That's wonderful. Wow. I still wear them for reading, though. <laughs> so you'll see me uh -huh. like this. But it is, Join the uh, club. <laughs> I told this Jeanette. I said, Jeanette, it's, I've worn them since the seventh grade. Mm. So I've had them for 20 years. I've <laughs> <laughs> been just a little bit longer than that, but I really, I'm having a hard time adjusting to not having it. If I put these on to see, I can't see, but <laughs> it's nice. And uh, Amen. God is good, isn't it? Good. We want to worship the Lord with his tithes and offerings. Ushers, if you can. <laughs>
Our Father in heaven, once again, it's a great joy to come into your presence with the knowledge that uh, no matter what we're going through, that you've already been there. We know that you promised that there had no temptation taken us, but that which is common to man. And with that temptation, you'll provide a means to escape so that we'll be able to bear it. And so, Lord, we just say thank you this morning for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're going to be doing in each of our lives. Lord, we've got a lot and a lot of needs here today. We thank a body that will be having surgery on the 27th. And even today, we would pray that you give that surgeon the wisdom, the knowledge he needs to make body feel better. Pray, Lord, for Norma that you just touch her and be close to her. And we thank Lord and Belinda that wasn't able to make it today, but she's recouping from the fall. Pray that you just continue to have your hand upon her and bring healing to her body and pray. Father, we thank of Morgan, and we're rejoicing how you touched her thus far. You're still a long way to go, but Lord, we know that you're still on the throne, and you're still going to take care of her. We pray, Lord, for Terry and O.D. as they're down, basically waiting on her sister Louise to pass on the glory. But we just pray for the family, that you'd be close to each of them. Lord, we thank of Sam's two sisters. We pray that you'd continue to touch them. Pray for Sharon, Lord, that's having some problems with this thing that she's dealing with. And we pray that you just touch her physically. And Father, we thank of George and Carol Lee. We pray that you touch them. We thank, Lord, of Claire and Maggie, that you just be close to them. Thank of Kathy Blue that's home with another migraine. We pray that you just touch her and be close to her. And we thank, Father, of Terry's brother, Henry Baldwin. We pray that you continue to touch him. We pray for Melissa that you'd be with her. Pray for Shirley today, Lord, that you'd just be close to her and let her know that her church family is indeed praying for her. And then, Lord, we pray for Lori that you would just touch her with this uh, teeth surgery she's had and the other issues physically that she's facing. And, Lord, we thank the moms and dads that are here at the altar to lift up kids and grandkids. We just pray in a special way that you just minister to each of them. And Father, as we look at our altar, we just pause and pray for each of them, Lord, that you would meet their needs, whatever they might be. You know exactly what's going on in their lives. And we just pray that you would touch and bring healing as only you can do. We thank you, Greg and Cynthia, that are looking for a school for Jessica. We just pray that you just work that all out, Lord, as only you can do. And I pray for Vicki that's having so many problems with her back. I pray, Lord, that you just get the insurance and the doctors all together and that everything would work out fine and she'd get feeling better. And Lord, we pray for our country. If ever there was a day we need to lift America up and our leaders is today, wake us up. Lord, I pray that you'd speak to our leaders from our president, our vice president, our congress, our state county and city leaders. Lord, just bless each one of them and strengthen them and encourage them and remind them we are one nation founded upon you. It's not what we've done, but it's what you've done for us and how you blessed us. Be with our servicemen and women across the world. Bless the church of the Nazarene and our general superintendents and our missionaries and we pray for our district leaders today. We pray for Brother Russ and Gail that you bless them. Just watch over each and every one of us, meet all of our needs. And Lord, uh, there are lots and lots of needs. Uh, Jim Moreland's got a friend that's got some health issues, and we just pray for him in a special way. And Lord, you know exactly what's on our hearts, you know what our needs are. And we just pray that you would just be close to us and meet all of our needs and bless us in a special way. Fathers, we pray in Sunday now. We ask that you'd walk around our altars and up and down each pew. And would you give each one of us that big daddy's hug? We ask these things in your name. Amen. Just soon have a stand.
pleasure to welcome our social pastor and very occasional come with the word to us. Bible to them said, no way, Jose, 
No way. I'm sorry. No comprendo. <laughs> uh, but I like what Wesley had to say about, about the truth. A truth about the sun <coughs> is to memorize the unchanging, complete, sufficient Christ holds us steadily. Yes. He holds us steadily. Amen. And what is he doing today? He's interceding yesterday, today. Now, yesterday he died for us. And today he's ever interceding on our behalf. I like what Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 said. Uh, for my thoughts, not your thoughts, or my ways, your ways. For the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are in your ways, and my thoughts are in your thoughts. Uh, take for example, I'll give you a real good example of this, and I never thought about it until the Lord woke me up at 2.30 this morning. Y'all know since then I was wanting to be parents, we fostered babies for years. Well, I, God allowed, like in Job, with Job, for me to get cancer, for us to have an avenue or road to be parents. But I didn't realize this, I took Jessica to her five year appointment for her heart problem. Okay? That's what she, that's what Jesus did. He came to reunite us because we had a heart problem, a sin problem. That's why Jesus came upon the earth to make mm -hmm. it a, a revenue, a plan for us to get reunited with God. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. Yeah. Love thy neighbor as ourselves. Yeah. To cleanse our heart of all sin. That's why Jesus came and fled and died for our sins. Now, God the Father loved us so much that He said, Only we got a son. Uh, Je Jessica and I bonded together. And you know how great and miraculous God is. I didn't know if I was going to live when I had cancer. I didn't know if Jessica was going to live. He had, she was on oxygen at home monitor. He was born the size of a Coke can and pound five ounces. So you're talking yeah. miracle of not only healing me, healing Jessica, but also us becoming her parents. So we talk of three miracles at one time under His divine plan, His divine way. I can't, I don't understand it, but it worked out that way. It was easy, no. Uh, I, I feel a lot of guilt for about 2010 about what I took. I mean. How it affected my wife. A little girl named uh, Esther. She was confused and we were fostering her. She was very confused. She was there when I had entered the hospital. Uh, it really was tough on my dad, my wife, and so forth. And, and they had changed out my chemo, my, uh, chemo three times before I could handle it. Uh, I, they changed my chemo up and then I got a phone call that, just, that Esther was running fever. I just had a chemo treatment, and I'm, I'm taking care of her and Jessica. I'm taking care of two babies at the same time. But God gave me the strength to do that. I couldn't have done it without Him. And He healed me, mind, body, and spirit. When Jesus healed someone, they were healed mind, body, and spirit. And Jesus is was totally God and totally man. Second uh, Timothy two five. For there is one God and one mediator between God, the man, who was hundred percent man and God, man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. He died for the world, not just not just for a particular group, religion, or anything. He died for the world. Um, like what the, now the Jews wanted an earthly king. And that's what they wanted. They thought it was way. We want an earthly king to conquer our, our enemies and so forth. That's what they were looking for. But I like what Romans 1 16 says. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is power of God to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. What happened? Jesus went to the Jews first, didn't he? And what did they do? That they rejected him, mocked him, crucified him. So he went to the Greek. So he provided salvation for both the Jew and the Gentile, for all mankind, not just a particular denomination, church, person, or organization, but he died for all of our sins. Uh, and 
Jesus is the same uh, uh, today and forever. Jesus is life everlasting. Okay? It's forever. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For now and eternity. Not just not just today, but forever. Um, Romans 14, 9, to this end, both uh, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord of both dead and the living. He is the resurrection and the life. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. John 11, 25, when he's talking about Lazarus, I am the resurrection and the life. He is both King of Kings, Lord of Lord of the living and the dead. And, uh, I like what, to wrap this up, I'd like to uh, quote some, some other what Jesus is doing now. He's interceding for us right now as our defense attorney. But since he bled and died for our place and there's no other way but through him, uh, for the Father judges no man, this uh, Gospel of John 5, 22, for the Father judges no man, committed all judgment unto the Son. Why? Because he bled and died for our sins. Hebrews 9, 27, And unto, as it is appointed unto man to once die, we die the physical death because of sin. We don't have to die the spiritual death. Once mm -hmm. die, but after this, the judgment. He committed all judgment unto the Son because he did, he's interceding for you and I. If we reject or neglect salvation, it's only our fault. He's made the provisions, folks. Um, Philippians 2, 10 and 11. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And at every time shall so confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You mean if we don't kneel right now, we're going to kneel before Him in the future? Absolutely. We either do it on our free will accord or at the day of judgment, we're going to kneel before him in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's left the decision up to us. Mm -hmm. He's left the decision up to us. Uh, let me uh, pray for y'all and whoever else is going to be watching this, this message. Let's pray for them too, okay? Lord Jesus, you say that you bled and died for all our sins, for all the world. That whosoever call upon you shall be saved. In uh, Romans 10 13. If we call upon you, you will save us, Lord. I pray that you have mercy and grace upon our, us <coughs> and to forgive us of our sins, no matter if it's in the past or the, the things that we're doing now that are sinful and against you and your will. Lord, I pray you convict us, cleanse us of all sin and unrighteousness, and may we do find your divine will and in your divine will. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Bob, come up and uh, give us the results of the voting. Where he may be. <laughs> Not back yet. Okay. Can I get up to I just like to say that I'm glad there is only one way. Um, you know, so many people out there today trying to prove there's different ways and looking for different ways. Why when it's so easy? Do you just have to come to Christ? Say you're sorry, and then, okay, you're on your way. Well, why, I mean, you know, just like if, if Jeanette was coming to my house today, and I say, Jeanette, you come, well, that's really, you know, you're going to go up the hill, but, you yeah. know, if you come to my house, you give directions, and she, so she goes out the car, and she goes, Gary, I think there's a different way that we can go to get to Faith's house. Mm -hmm. And so, <coughs> that, that's what people are out there doing, yeah. you know, looking for a different way. Why should you look for a different way when there's only one way and it's such a good way. Amen. By the cross. Amen. 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 <coughs> good, good message there, John. Is there anybody else that would like to have a testimony? I'm going to well, let you go yet, so you may as well. Oh. I'll come to your house, and I'll follow your directions. <laughs> yeah. And I am willing to go that one way through the cross, because yeah. that is... That is the way. Thank God. And Greg, you did a real good job. I appreciate your, your study, and I yeah. love your spirit. 
And Jess, I want to thank you all for sticking by me and Gary and our kids this weekend. You don't know how much we appreciate your support and love for our family. So thank you, and we'll see you at a wedding pretty soon. Yes. Anybody else? I just yeah. wanted to thank the Lord for giving me a road. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. amen. For giving me the, all of these people that are here. Yes. One way or another, who have guided me down that road. Yes. And mm -hmm. for all the answers to prayers that He has given me, I just wanted to just, just stand up and say how much I love the Lord. And hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to thank the Lord for being so good to me. He just fills me so. I'd just like to say that I'm so thankful for Jesus and I think about how do people make it that don't know Jesus? How do they even get up in the morning? How do they function at all? I'm just thankful that I don't have to worry about that. That I know that He's with me all the way every day. And um, you know that you know we're supposed to pray without ceasing. And, you know, I thought about that, and I thought, you know, that's what I do. I do that all day long. I have to be careful, because I actually answered the phone one time, your Heavenly Father. Because <laughs> 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 I, I, I was praying, and, and I thought, well, it's a good thing I work for a Christian organization. I just went on, but I, you know, didn't realize. But, but I'm just so thankful that He's always there. And that we can always pray. You know, that, that he's just he's always listening. And that no problem is too big and no problem is too small. That he just loves us. And I'm so thankful. Sometimes I think, you know, I, I get this little lonely thing and then I thought, why? Ah, there's no reason to ever be lonely. Ever. You know? Even if Greg's not around and Jessica's not around and mom's not around, I've got Jesus. He's right there. Why don't you talk to him? He wants me to talk to him. And I'm just thankful that he's there. I'm just thankful I don't have to face any day of Billy, I want to thank the Lord today for all his, his many blessings that he's bestowed on me. Amen. For guiding me to this church. And I, I can't thank him enough for surrounding me with the love and, and the support that this church has given me. My family, and I thank you for it. And uh, I love all of you. And I, I just I, I thank you for your love. And I want to praise His holy name. I started off in, in Nazarene Church when I was five years old, and uh, He brought me full circle back to this church. Thank you for it. Why don't you give us an update on Shirley? Pardon? Give us an update on Shirley. Well, uh, you know she's uh, been given a new uh, chemotherapy. It's brand new, just been approved last month, and uh, but it's had some terrible side effects. Yeah. And uh, it's brought her blood count down real low, and they've suspended the chemo for a while. She goes in tomorrow morning for a blood test, and they'll go from there. I mean, whether to restart the chemo or keep her off of it longer. They want to get her blood count back up to an acceptable level before they start the chemo again. Okay. And she's experiencing quite a bit of pain and restfulness, lack of sleep. It's been hard for her. She's tough. She's going to survive mm -hmm. with the Lord's help. Yeah. And lots of prayers. I think it'd be okay, Gary. Would you stand up and say a special prayer for Shirley? <coughs> Let's all join Gary in prayer for Shirley. Father, we come to you today. We thank you for Shirley and for Millie. We thank you for their friendship and their love. We thank you that they're a part of our fellowship. We hate it when, when they're not here. And Father, we know that you have healing. We know you have mercy. We know you have grace and father we're just asking you to extend that to Shirley in bountiful measure today father yes. may she feel a real difference father look at others with their lands and gold think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold count your many blessings money cannot buy your reward in heaven nor your
might look it up. It might even do it faster than me. Heaven came down. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, 371. I can't believe I'm being here. So I might go back and take the shoes off and have Ryan to get some. Back then, 
<laughs> but we walked up and down Tannis Road, and there wasn't near the traffic there is now. But uh, this church has meant a lot to me over the years. And I kind of came full circle, too. You know, we went to Texas and West Texas and then back. And so, you know, it's good. You feel like you've come home. When I first came back, I sat right back there, and I felt like I had come home. Amen. 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 That's good. Somebody else? Somebody that's scared to death to testify. Stand up and testify. <laughs> Not that I'm scared of Amen. Testimony or a song, one or the other. Well, I'm not going to testify, but I did, you know, in a, we're kind of one week behind in our lesson. But I, you know, I looked at this this morning, it says, God is omnipotent. He can do all he chooses to do. He is omniscient. He knows all there is to know. God is eternal. He can wait as long as it takes to accomplish His purposes. Amen. God is redemptive. He is absolutely, absolutely free to be responsive to His creation. He is free to change His mind without being fickle. God chooses to act in ways that are responsive to what His creatures choose to do. He knows us fully and intimately. He knows everything we are capable of doing. He is never taken by surprise, and because he is faithful to his character, he keeps his promises. God is free to keep faith with fickle people and still fulfill his promises. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's sing a verse of 654. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. Well, Glory's freedom is one of my favorites. If not, I'm very Oh, 
Yeah, you yeah, have never been wrong in your life. Never. Yeah. 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 Oh, I was just wrong. So you're just gonna have to I thought you were a man of your word. You were asked to tell me how to feel because now I've been wrong and we need one more time. I wouldn't be denied. How about I'll fly away? I'll fly away. There's something about an anchor hole, too. I like that anchor hole. Terry has a request. Who? Terry. I said, I would not be denied. We need to send all of that. Okay, well, all right, let's see here. Let's see what let's do. That's 390. Okay. Same as I'll fly away. I didn't see it.
the church has chosen George Bratton, Ron Carter, Sam Gray, Gary Jones, Carolyn Mann, Obie Smothers, and Terry Smothers, also Pat Barman. For Sunday School Superintendent, it's been confirmed that uh, Faith Coley will be our Sunday School Superintendent. Thank you. 